the end of the next series, you will know everything about Mrs. Rudd. Right, okay. Yeah. That's enough to know. <laughs> Has anyone got any questions? <laughs> I knew was that she was a nosy neighbour. That was the only kind of missive I had, you know, that she was the sort of person that you always see in the street, knows everything, knows everybody's business, always stops for a chat, you know, um, very close to my heart. And uh, <laughs> and that was it. And they never took, well, Russell or nobody told me anything of what her journey would be. So I just went in and played the part. You know? And then, then he did at the end of one reading, he said, um, he said something to me. And I thought, where's this, where's this going? But he still wouldn't tell me. So it wasn't until the series you're about to see that about a third of the way in, after I finally got the script, I thought, oh, this is who she is. I can't tell you, of course. But yeah, so finally, yeah, I know where I come from. Yeah. And how have you found that with kind of, I mean, things are very more, a lot more accessible now compared to maybe the EastEnders stories that were kept under wraps. Mm -hmm. You know, do you get the whole script or do you just get your bit and it's top secret and it's on pages you can't duplicate and all that kind of stuff? Or? No, you do get the full script. They have to kind of do that, otherwise you don't know how your scene sits in the whole piece. Bless you, who sneezed? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so you do get the full, but they deliver it to you as late as possible. Yeah. And you have to hand them all in at the end so they can be shredded. Yeah. Um, so yeah, really, I, but I didn't mind. I kind of quite enjoyed the fact that, um, that I was on a journey and um, I wasn't being given too much information, so I played literally what was on the script and, and worked with the directors, who are really terrific. And, um, and sometimes I would learn a, a scene and think it would be played that way, and then I'd get on the set and the director would say, what about if we played it like that? And I'd think, okay, yeah, so I'd do it. And then gradually, slowly, it, used to, it sank into my head that she's not all she seems to be, which you obviously know now. Um, and that was quite exciting too. So I thought, just learn your lines, turn up and do what you're told. And gradually, you'll, it'll come to you who this woman is. And do you know, the thing is, even at the end of the next series, I think I told somebody who was talking to me, I can't remember who it was, but I, there's a line that she says, and I thought, it's kind of a little bit odd for her to say that at this point. So even at that point, she still has another twist or a turn. So you're not quite sure. You think she's one thing, but you don't know. She could. She always keeps a few things in her pocket. You know, you never quite know where she's going. So I, I don't know. It must be great to play that kind of character. Well. Yeah, yeah, and it's nice to create a bit of mystery. Yeah. Okay, next question. I think it might be, yeah. Because I wondered, I thought, what's this? I'm standing on a roof, looking like a very aged Mary Poppins, you know. <laughs> but um, I thought, yeah, okay, I'm game, you know. A beautiful coat, oh my God, beautiful. But, um, and I, d I did think, odd, but what's happening here? But he never does anything without a reason. It looks like it's random. Do you remember the, the first episode was with the babies, the, the babies on that planet that were running the spaceship? And I remember I watched it and thought, where does this come from? When I started filming on um, what you're going to see soon, I thought, I think I know what this is about. Everything's tied up. Everything's done for a reason. He's very clever. He's, he's thinking ahead all the time, you know. And if it doesn't work, if something doesn't work, then he'll find a way to get around it. He'll write something that will circumvent that. He's very clever. <laughs> so, yeah, I do think it is a clue. It wasn't to me, because I didn't have an idea what, I just knew I had a lovely coat. But um, now, talking to you now, having filmed, it definitely, I think, might be a clue. Yeah.